It's a great day with that dark stuff filling up my favorite cup. How you call feeling? How you call feeling? How you call feeling now? Yeah. Well, today is the 60th episode of How You Call Feeling, which makes me actually pretty self-conscious as to the amount of coffee I drink. But nevertheless, you probably feel the same way and is why you're watching this to see if this new coffee you are trying out uh, is as enjoyable as I think or don't think it to be. Anyway, today I'll actually be trying out Peace Coffee's Tree Hugger, a dark roast and one of their signature blends, whatever. Companies always say signature blend, who knows what they mean signature to them, you know. So, Peace Coffee uh, has been around since 1996. Oh, 1996, everything happened in 1996. You know, Friends started, uh, the Olympic Park bombing, all the major events. Uh, so this uh, Peace Coffee, fresh roasted in Minneapolis, Minnesota, that's where they're based. This dark roast is de described as nutty and adventurous, which I'm not sure how to feel when it sounds like testicles, but so Peace Coffee describes themselves, we're starry-eyed dreamers who believe in bicycle power, being nice, and bringing neighbors, farmers, and the community together. Okay, so being from Minnesota and that kind of sentence sounds like some real annoying white people that I wouldn't necessarily want to deal with, but uh, nevertheless, uh, that doesn't mean that their coffee isn't uh, delicious. So let's go ahead and try out the nut hugger, sorry, the tree hugger from Peace Coffee. Now, it's very early in the morning, nutty and adventurous. Let's, let's see if we go on such a expedition. Hmm. I'm not uh, sensing really either of those things. It feels a lot lighter and more subtle than I was expecting from a dark. Um, so yeah, it's it's not bad, but I would suppose I was hoping for a little more out of something defined as nutty and adventurous. Um, it, the nuttiness is again, like I said, subtle, not really heavy not feeling, in a sense, like a dark roast that I would expect, almost feeling medium, medium dark roast. Um, but it's a fine enough cup of coffee, and Peace Coffee uh, seems to have expanded quite, uh, even from 96 until now, 25 years, they've expanded. They seem to be uh, in normal grocery stores throughout the country. I found this bag at Sprouts, again, a place I really enjoy going to that has a wide array of coffees, uh, of, you know, different realms of, I guess, this hippie crap, other realms of hippie crap, you know, coffee that's infused with uh, whatever, Joe Rogany type things, all oh, your brain or your caffeine, who cares? I don't know. But that's where I go to get coffee when I don't order it online, and Peace Coffee is available there, and a fine enough uh, coffee. I believe it's Sprouts. This was on sale, uh, and I got it for ten ninety nine for that bag. Fine enough coffee, but I think that there are just better coffees on the market accomplishing these goals that I've reviewed. Organic, fair trade, uh, but for me at least, with a dark roast, I want a little bit more punch uh, to my coffee flavoring. Peace coffee, uh, just as the hippies uh, would seem. A little more weak and subtle. Do I sound like an ass? Yeah, probably. I love hippies. I'm cool with them. But, you know, when it's marketed that way, it's like, dude, chill. Chill out like you should be chilling out like a hippie. It, it, it don't need to be so on brand. Anyway, to answer the question, how you caught feeling? Uh, yeah, peace. But, you know, kind of a depressing piece. But not depressing, but a, a piece. Because this was mediocre. How
how you call feeling now. Yeah.